Okay, people, we are back with another video here. Cottage core thrifting at the car boot sale. Now, we are in Ardley in Essex, and this car boot sale is absolutely massive. Just starting here on this stall, I just grabbed this mini because I have a mini exactly like this, but 30 years old, uh, much, much older. So, just having a look on the first stall here, cute little keyboard. With car boots you really have to be patient and just wander through everything just to find the treasures i mean look at this lamp that is very cottage core cool. now this wood is very nice it reminded me of a chopping board and obviously wood is very cottage core cool because you would live in the wood and you would use what you've got around you make a pen out of wood make a keyboard keyboard <laughs> key ring out of wood have i said wood enough now <laughs> this fireplace just reminds me of a nice little cosy fireplace. Lots of different things on the stalls. Like I say, you really have to rummage through and find the best bits. And I just spotted these little trays. Just remind me of crumble trays from the 40s. Very cute. Now this box wouldn't look out of place in that room. It's very cute. Just going along here, just saw these little spoons. Was it a, a spoon rest, I believe? Just put your spoon on there. And then I like these Chinese ones. They were quite colourful. They were very cute. They had a lot of glass on their stall, which is very cottage core, obviously the vase where you put your flowers in. Just coming along with this set here just reminded me of something that you put your hot chocolate in now we're getting into the sort of autumnal days and look at this gorgeous tablecloth more on that later now this store only had one thing that i would say was cottage core which was this little candle holder you really do have to sift through each stall to find the best bits. So there's not really much there. You go on to the next table and the only thing really is this little wooden horse, which is quite cute. Not much else. Pool noodle. <laughs> and then on this, just a load of stuff, little bunnies. But then I come across this book, which is very vintage. And the theme is animals and they were so cute and the little artwork was beautiful so i grabbed that i didn't know what these were like a lantern something you light up the little egg holder was cute and you have like these pickle forks they're vintage and these cups are pyrex 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 so i've sold them before now this lady i said to her you're hiding the best thing on your stool <laughs> she want she wanted four pounds for that four pounds i don't know why they don't put everything out all these shoes in the boxes they could have sold if they'd bothered to put them out but no they just lumped everything in one big lump obviously but i thought these chairs are very cottagey you could even paint a couple of them a different color This box was quite cute. This I loved, it reminded me of 1930s, 40s. And this, I don't know what it is, so if you know, please comment below. But again, this guy just hadn't put anything out, everything was in boxes. You really had to sift through if you could be bothered. There's another picnic basket. But look, he just, everything was in the box. Didn't bother putting anything out at all. I thought this was really cute. A little robin on there. But he was broken, so that's a shame. But just goes to show you what you can find. I reckon this person did house clearance. Now this would have fit in your blue and white aesthetic for a cottage core. This is carnival glass. Look at the way it shines in the sun. It's beautiful. But they're just not much worth much anymore so 
then I saw this teapot and I was like, ooh, teapot, it's gorgeous. Beautiful, Gibsons, England. But again, can you be bothered to thrift all the way through that? This is quite cute. Be blue white aesthetic. And it was old, so. See, you just dumped everything in a massive bin, didn't bother taking it out at all. But I mean, these are quite nice knives. And if you wanted some cottage core cups, mugs, you know, vintage looking, floral, egg cup. Another knife. I just love this radio or wireless, whatever you want to call it. It's beautiful. Needed work though, so in records. And there's another one there. Nice little thimble holder and a wooden box. Always helpful for your cottage core aesthetic. He's old dude. <laughs> I thought these vases were quite cute, but not for me. This tray intrigued me. So, like, what's it for? Tiny little tray. I don't know. But this crock was gorgeous, little vintage crock, but it was quite broken. I came across this stall, and there were some young girls on there, and I thought, why? That looks so plain. What? What is going on? Ah. They put it the wrong way around. But I reckon if that was that way, that would have sold ages ago. So I was quite happy that they put that the wrong way around. Because it's beautiful. And they have furniture there. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's 1960s. But I just love it. Hey! across this store so a couple of bits that's okay it needs to be floral I thought oh that's a nice little dish but it's Christmas so it's not really for me all this cute little doll's house stuff oh I'm gonna get my house my doll's house is going in it and then down below she had some shoes I thought that's quite cute everyone likes pink cottage core so that would work and then I spied these tan boots. I was like, they are really nice. And she only wanted two pounds for them. I just spied these quick basket, this bin one pound fifty and the basket was one pound fifty. And then my friend here spotted this poncho. Which I thought was very nice if you lived in the middle of the woods so in a cottage. Nice. Little vintage pots. I've got so much stuff like that already though. But I mean this store had loads of stuff. You really have to sieve through this. I like this little candle holder with the sunflowers on it. She had all sorts of stuff. And a teapot. I just spied that jacket right in the middle there. I thought that was cute. There's some grass. It's nice, but I have quite a few of them already like that. Not much else on that stall. Now I filmed this thinking if you had an outdoors, you could style this up with the oil cans and all sorts and the lanterns. That would look really cool. This store had all sorts. It was says 40th birthday. That's not really good. But this was cute. I don't know what it's for though. Cause it's got a handle on either side. So I've not seen those before. And that was gorgeous. I like this little cabinet. 
And then I liked her chopstick and her spoons. I just thought these pie dishes were very cottage core because you just stay at home baking a pie or flan or quiche and one of those little crumble trays again. Now this lady's stall was absolutely beautiful. It was so colourful with all those flowers. I just had to film it. I was just like, wow. But look at her. She's done a good job of putting everything out, I think. And those little aloe vera plants. Always hand helpful. All this stuff. And the kitchen stuff. And trays and things. I just love this color, the color of the dish. It was very autumnal. It was beautiful. I like the frame. What does it say, bride? Hmm. Someone got married. I like these boxes, but. Unfortunately, he was just charging too much. I mean, this thing, I don't know what it is. It's 20 quid. This is my favourite word in the world. Free. Not much in there, but I found this little necklace. It's a 50s one, it's plastic. And a little vintage makeup. This necklace, unfortunately, was broken. Now this store had all sorts on it, but the thing that stuck out to me was this box here. You'll see more of that later in the haul. After the carpet we went to Manning Tree, which is such a cute little village. I mean look, it's so vintage, cottage corey. I saw this little restaurant, I thought, oh I love it, I want to go back. And then they had this shop had all this vintage stuff in it i was like wow that blouse oh just screams cottage core and you remember those oil cans well we found a pub that had the decor of it so just goes to show it does work see that <laughs> here's your haul guys so this is everything that i got from the haul this is that embroidered with birds look at the detail on there now it's not a pillow cover because it's there's no opening for it but i just love the detail that's all been hand stitched it's absolutely beautiful and then this necklace it's a 1950s it's plastic it's quite long it's lovely i didn't film this but i found these two little letters which is perfect for my goddaughters because one begins with A and one begins with I. They are modern but I just thought they were really cute. I don't think I filmed these either. Oh, bad me. But anyway, they had these coasters. They were a pound for the whole box. Look at that. Should not put them against my old one because <laughs> it makes the other one look dirty. But you get the picture anyway. This box we'll get back to. Now this book was 50p. I love it. It smells of old books, which is a smell that I love. It's got the best drawings in it. Look at that. I mean, you could frame that and put that on the wall. And that is your cottage core aesthetic sorted for 50p. Beautiful. This is quite expensive makeup and it's all quite there but i think it's it's very old that one now this box was one pound fifty i mean it's beautiful parkinson's doncaster and he said to me oh just take uh take out the insides so i was like well what's on the inside buttons thousands and thousands of buttons are in the inside vintage buttons Look at those. And they all had pre decibel money written on the back, so they're 60s and beyond, at least. Now, I did buy this picnic basket. It was £4. 
four pounds people and I've looked on eBay and they're going for about 25 to 30 not that I'm gonna sell it but you get the picture look at it it's gorgeous I did pick up these if you saw the look how lovely they are absolutely beautiful detail there was three there and she wanted £1.50, so that's 50p each for tablecloths. This one is gorgeous. Look at it on the table. It's beautiful, the detail on that. And on the side there, oh. Same with this one, I mean, you just can't go wrong. A cottage core aesthetic, having a nice afternoon tea on that tablecloth I mean these are the shoes I got and this is the cardigan that we saw briefly I just love it excuse my my hometown in the background there but the shoes I just absolutely love they're by blowfish which is quite a good brand and they were two pounds each thanks for watching everybody subscribe for more videos